morning, everyone, <clears throat> and welcome to our Heavenly Parent Holy Community Oceania Hundake with Reverend Yutaki Yamada. Today being Wednesday, the 30th of June or the 21st of May in the ninth year of Chongoku. Let's begin by offering a bow to our heavenly parents and true parents. Chariot. Jumbe. Paro. Let's recite our family pledge in Korean and English. Thank you. Hajom men se sam. Chanil cook chuin. Uri kajogun. Cham sarangil chunshimago. Sade sim jong kongwa. Samde wang kongwa. Fanjo konu. One song halkosil. Men se hanaida. Family pledge number three. Our family, the owner of Chongil Guk pledges to perfect the four great realms of heart, the three great kingships and the realm of the royal family by centering on true love. And uh, I'd like to ask uh, Debbie Bruce if she could offer the opening prayer, please. Good morning, our heavenly parents. Uh, we're just really grateful to be here. Uh, this morning devotion is really making a big change in our lives. It's really strengthening our bond with each other. It's really strengthening our mind and our faith and our commitment. Heavenly parents, we're so grateful. And we pray that today we can really open our hearts and listen and really take what we learn to the people of this world and really bring our people to our true parents. Thank you so much. We offer this prayer to you. In the name of Chris and Debbie Bruce of the Central West family, Aju. Aju. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And uh, let's give a warm welcome to Reverend Yutaka as he shares this morning. Thank you. Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining our morning Hundake. Today is the Wednesday, and we will begin the new day. We will put our heart and offer the great, sincere heart to our heavenly parents and to parents. So thank you for joining this morning. Yesterday, our Anshi Il, Arevan Pruna, shared about the mother's message. So always put and read many times and remind our heart to connect with our true mother. Uh, those heart is also important. So thank you, our Reverend Puruna, to share. Even he is living in Nepal, he cannot enter to Palau, but always he pray and offer chanson for Palau of Providence. Because of COVID, really we cannot expect or cannot really the, make a plan, physical plan for those things. But really, there is some kind of meaning in the way. So we have to find also. So this is really our task and our main contents. So please pray for Palau and all nation and also Oceania and world. So let's continue our the Fundok uh, contents. So last time, we share our special event. You know, the last Sunday, we had the Peace Festival, right? And last Sunday morning, our Oceania, uh, Fundoke, we read about also the mother's message. So when we read about the mother's autobiography, mother is sharing several or totally many different kind of uh, providence and share her heart about three parents' early time, to mothers also blessing, investing America and world tour, mission, business, little angels, art. And now we are reading together with about communist and the Soviet Union and also meeting with our president Kim Il-sung. So that time, a Sunday morning, we share about the father's declaration in the month's day uh, assembly hall in Pyongyang, North Korea. So that time, three parents met the leader of Communist Party, the North Korean government, and 
talking about directly uh, tell them Chuche ideology is wrong and the Kim Ilson system is wrong. You have to accept God. That's kind of announcement, a proclamation and discussion or argument was there strongly to further proclaim and testify about God. And that Sunday, we had a peace festival. And that time, the one member of parliament of Korea, he was a refugee. He was left from North Korea and became the South Korean member of parliament to testify that Monday meeting and the meeting with uh, President Kim Il-sung. And he also testified how grateful. And also next day, the Monday morning, we also read the Fundok and in the Chon song message, Father said, everything's behind of all things, anything, there is God's will, there is purpose, there is motivation, and there is also uh, the meaning. That's why there we could find each moment Actually, at that moment also, I felt this is really the conversation with God. We can find this some kind of the event, something happening, and also we can get the answer, we can get the message. Those elements we are meeting, reading, and also connecting with Monday and North Korea, and also Chon Song message, there is some kind of meaning behind every situation that's why how we can communicate with our with god through god's message through element so maybe some people is sensitive can notice some connection and some message from god and some is difficult to catch or meaning how we can connect with god's will and how we can get the god's message this is really important Maybe our meeting in our daily life, our some accident or happening, some happening inside of our, inside of our life. How we can catch this is God's message or not? This is some kind of God's expectation or not? Through communication, through conversation, we can receive the word of God and also prayer. Then we can understand the meaning of God also. That's why uh, we should have always humble heart and to connect with God, seeking the message of God and also find a way. This attitude, this kind of life of attitude is the most safe way, safest way and most um, wise way which the Father said. So always we will have a public heart to seek God together with God and live with God. Then our daily life become more exciting and we can find more grateful things. So today also, uh, let's try our best to offer and return the happiness. So that's why I was, I also thought maybe some there is some kind of message or something we have to get the answer through North Korea or through meeting with Kim Wilson and through meeting with Monday, something our Oceania family or our Oceania role. So I researched and I found one video about Monday Assembly Hall through Father's um, the message. A short time. I could not find the whole sentence or whole message, just short one. So I found the just one minute video and also the before entering North Korea, uh, there is also the, some video. So I want to show uh, one minute, three one minute video. So please watch this. So this is first before entering North Korea. Reverend Moon and Mrs. Moon, who were at the forefront of the fight against communism, met Gorbachev in 1990 to press him for reformation, then visited North Korea's Pyongyang the next year. Lenin's status was brought down and Reverend Moon came face to face with Kim Il-sung. Reverend Moon put his life on the line with his speech of criticism 
retorts the Juche ideology by emphasizing the will of God in North Korea's Congress building. Bodyguards ready to draw their guns stood there watching Reverend Moon. Something could go very wrong. Mrs. Moon, who was together with her husband, began to sweat in fear. The path of Sukgong movement was a dangerous course filled with deadly threats, but it was only faith that could help them. So this is the part our two parents visited to North Korea and to talk with the leader in the North Korean government assembly hall. This is Man's Day assembly hall. And this is the message because I found only in Korean. So I translated the word. So this is the translation. Maybe I will read first. This is conversation between to father and Mr. Yoon. Mr. Yoon is the representative of the North Korean government. And Devanan Moon is a true father. This is everything in Korean. So he said, it is, that, it is said that blood is thicker than the water. So you people go wherever you want. We are here to help. Then it will all be over. The problem arises because they prevent us, stop us from doing so. Korea is the same. North Korea is the same. They are all saying that only they are right. They should not do that. This is my opinion. And Mr. Yoon said, this is similar to the spirit of the Korean nation first policy. Reverend Moon True Father said, before the theory of evolution existed, a small amoeba developed. Before there was a theory of evolution, there were male and females. Would the relative concept of male and female, etc., have to precede or follow evolution? Please tell me. I can teach you. When we look at based on this kind of logic, since God is eternal, we are also eternal. You can't deny it theoretically. You can't see God, can you? You ask me to show you God. So, do you have a heart or not? Mr. Yoon, do you have a heart or not? I think you do. But have you ever seen a heart? You also have love, don't you? Love. Have you ever seen love? You have to know that the invisible is more precious than the visible. Mr. Yoon said, today, Dr. Moon's philosophy and thoughts were summarized in his talk. I would like to report them accurately accordingly. So this is the conversation. So let's see the video. How sound is okay? Yeah, so did you see that? Really, that's your father was standing and hitting the desk and strongly say to them, God, God is eternal. Have you seen God? Have you seen your heart? 
Have you seen your love directly talking ameba and evolution? Why evolution is important? Before that, there is existing. Uh, before evolution was existing, there was already the concept reciprocal con relationship, reciprocal concept of men and women. Who created that? Evolution is existing before that or not? That's why uh, those really strongly till further enter there and gave the message. However, Il Sung Kim, moved by Reverend Moon's audacious speech, said that a real reverend has come and he threw a big feast for them. Everyone was surprised at the turn of events. This meeting, where the head of Sung Gong movement and the last head of communism hugged and swore to be brothers, opened the gate of peaceful unification for Korea. Yes, so anyway, this is a short video. So during the visitation of North Korea, uh, we could see that so how our true father is strong we could find this determination and proclamation to north korean people so before meeting with, with uh chairman kim ilson till father proclaimed strongly to the leader of north korea and north korean leader said i will report everything to chairman kim then chairman kim invited him to his place and that the conversation and meeting was held. So those things we can see. While, so go to mother's autobiography. While in North Korea, even though we were honored as a state guest, we could not sleep comfortably, knowing that there were thousands upon thousands of families separated and longing for each other because Korea was not yet unified. We stayed awake every night, seeking to connect heavenly fortune to that place through our heartfelt prayer. We spent those nights submitting ourselves to God for the sake of the unification of the Korean Peninsula. Political negotiation and economic exchange will come only on the foundation on the true love of God. By making this our focus, our talk with Chairman Kim open a new chapter for the unification of North and South Korea. During two parents staying in North Korea, continuously offer the prayer for God, offer the prayer for Korean people without sleeping. There are many families separated still now and suffering and also they are facing challenging of painful situation so someday the day will come the nation between north and south korea those korean nations should be united unified so this prayer sincere uh hope was there someday those family could meet again meet again so that day 1991 is 40 years after dividing and how about now 2021 already 73 years passed but still this nation was divided and those family could not meet each other i'm not sure how many people are living now currently in north side and south south korean side same family they are separated they could not meet even more than 73 years. This is how much um, sad or painful situation. And mother said, we spent those nights submitting ourselves to God for the sake of the unification of the Korean Peninsula. Political negotiation and economic exchange will come only on the foundation of the true love of God. So meeting with Kim Ilson, and meeting is all process. Everything is carried by God. Everything entrusts to God. This is our three parents' attitude to show us how important, how much important based on foundation 
of true love of God. Rely on God. This is everything before political negotiation, before economic exchange, or before everything. So Trimada is sharing these things. Looking back, I reflect that it was at the moment communism reached its zenith that my husband and I risked our lives to go to Moscow and Pyongyang with joyful hearts. As a representative of the free world, we embrace the enemies who have severely persecuted us. By our doing so, they were booed and we could reconcile. Thus, we laid the foundation for unification and peace. We went to North Korea not to get something, but to give genuine true love. The person who tried to kill me, the person already killed my family, killed my relative, killed my relative. Meeting this enemy, meeting this person, is that easy things or not? And not only meeting, after meeting, also embrace them with joyful heart. How much this is difficult matter or not easy things, but to parents embrace that, embrace them, love them with joyful heart, grateful heart. That's why they felt that and they are so touched and moved. Risk own life and to love enemy and forgive and embrace. This way is the same way also which our Jesus showed us on the cross. Even the person who killed Jesus, but until last minute, embrace and forgive and pray for God. Please love them. Please forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. This is our God's heart, our true parents' heart, our also Jesus' heart. How we can embrace share to love and forgive and guide them to God's love. So mother said, we went to North Korea not to get something, but to give genuine true love. That's why Chairman Kim Il-sung was so touched. I'm not sure how many times he received unconditional love from others. Always he was that position to attack and fight and doubt. But that time, maybe first time to receive unconditional love from true parents and unconditional love from God. That's why Chairman Kim Wilson accepted, fully accepted true father, true mother, trust, and to decide to go to the next step. For the sake of God, my husband and I forgave the unforgivable. For the sake of humanity, we love the unlovable. Soon after the completion of our eight-day mission, North Korea's Prime Minister, Yong Pyong Muk, led a dedication, dedication to Seoul and signed a joint declaration on the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula with the South Korean government. So after visitation and after making promise in North Korea, North Korean government, government keep the promise and proceed this joint declaration with South Korea. So actually that time in 1991, during uh, three parents visiting to North Korea, Actually, there are many kinds of accusation, uh, oppo opposing movement in South Korea. Many Christian groups oppose True Fathers, True Mothers visitation to North Korea. Some politician, political party also accuse True Parents, why you go to North Korea? Why you go to meet Kim Il-sung? So there are many kinds of things. So not only North Korea, in South Korea, also they have to fulfill their responsibility how they can unite with true parents. This is really important. So I read about true parents' message. Also, his, there was another conversation between 
a chairman Kim, Kim Il-sung, and also father, I understand your logic. So uh, Kim Il-sung said, according to your logic, then as the able have to fulfill the mission and responsibility, right? So if South Korea is the Kane side, if Kane cannot fulfill responsibility, then what's happened? Able will take over. So if I totally unite with Father Moon, you, then Korea, South Korea have to follow us, have to call follow True Father. So the True Father sharing those message, the conversation between North Korea and South Korea. So Kim Il-sung was totally united with a True Father. So that time True Father also gave the message, if make a political party between North and South Korea, True Father, True Parents become the leader and the North Korean President Kim become the vice, vice chair, vice chairman of this political party, North side and South side, someone become the vice chair and automatically North and South Korea unification will be happen. So those sharing many plan was going on, going on at that time. Over the coming month, our movement set up an industrial enterprise the Pyongfa Motor Factory, as well as Poton River Hotel and World Peace Center, all in Pyongyang, as the cornerstone for unification. Afterwards, the seeds planted by my husband and I at the time bore fruit with the visit of the South Korean president to North Korea to discuss the past toward unification on that foundation the shoot of peace and unification are growing. When those should blossom into full bloom, the earnest prayers my husband and I have offered for Korean Peninsula will be remembered forever. So before 1991 and after 1991, there are many changing we could find. There are many changing in the Korean Peninsula. So three parents established the Pyongfa Motors and hotel. And the meeting with meeting between President the North Korea and South Korean president also fulfilled. And there are many kinds of business. Some Korean business company entered to North Korea, Hyundai Motors also. And the meeting between North Korean family and South Korean family was fulfilled. So currently, still, there are many kinds of complicated situation, but also the time is coming. True Mother is reading, centering on the heavily unified Korea. How we can fulfill that together with the nation around? This is important. So I could see this one. Those joint declaration was happened. Joint declaration by Tony Group and North Korea, December 5, 1991. Both parties shall stress to achieve unification in near future. Both parties shall agree on peaceful reunification through independent dialogue and negotiation. Both parties shall establish a unified country on the basic basis of coexistence and co-prosperity and to and be democratic according to the situation of two Koreans. Both parties shall make an agreement on non-aggression and shall be free of nuclear weapons, production and deploy deployment. Both parties shall hope that North-South high-level talks to progress for the sake of the elimination of the state of political and military confrontation, Mal multi lateral cooperation and realizing exchanges. Both parties shall hope for the North and South Summit to be held as soon as possible due to the progress of the North and South high-level talks. Both parties shall contribute activities to realize nation reunification on the principle of great national unity. While the Peace Federation is willing to invest in economic project promotion in the North, both parties shall realize 1992 Little Angels Invitation concert in Pyongyang as well as Pyongyang Art 
troop performance in Seoul. Both parties shall give effort in realizing free travel between the north and south and the front opening to ease the pain of 10 million separated families. Install interview rooms and letter exchange spots by 1992 and give an effort to realize the meeting of the elderly first as a part of such effort. So this was uh, prepared and declared by Tony Group and North Korea December 5. December 5, this is in the month's day assembly hall before meeting Kim Il-sung. So those declaration was declared. And next day, with meeting with Kim Il-sung, agreement detail of the talk with Kim Il-sung. As a part of the phase one of humanitarian project in the unification of Korean Peninsula, promote the reunification of separated family project from 1992. The reunion of separated families shall be carried out first to the elderly people. Nuclear energy shall be used only for peaceful purpose and the DPLK North Korea shall receive proactive international nuclear inspection. DPLK shall welcome the economic investment in North Korea by any country, including the overseas Koreans, and agree on the principle for economic project, which are supported by the unification group, except for military industry. DPLK is willing to respond to sub summit if the summit of North and South Korea, a South meet to discuss and resolve the manner of unification. During meeting with Kim Ilson, those agreement was also uh, agreed. That's why how much trust and love was already established at the moment. So giving everything. Also, two parents prepared to give many things and support North Korea. And North Korea side also accepted to open the way. That's why North Korea immediately sent the people to South Korean government and also the meeting between North Korea and South Korea present happened. So those one is happened well. So victory over communist, victory over communist activities, Gorbachev meeting, organizing and training. Based on those movement providential activities, finally the parents could enter to North Korea, visit to North Korea and talks with Kim Il-sung. And after that, North and South economic cooperation, Pyongfa Motors, Poton River Hotel, North South Cultural Exchange, Little Angels, Pyongyang, a troop, North South Peace Exchanges, seminars in Pyongyang, those things was happened. So Kim Il-sung is the Lord. This is Champ Mogyong. Kim Il-sung is the Lord at the second coming in Satan's world. That is why he has taken the parental position. North Koreans call him father, and indeed he is in the position of a parent. I put him in the position of a brother to me. That is why I naturally subjugated him. I was able to restore the right of parents because I restored the right of the elder son by bringing him to natural surrender. Subjugating Kim Ilson upon the foundation of having restored the right of the elder son means that the right of parents can be restored. Now that the right of parents is restored, next is the restoration of kingship, which will happen once North and South Korea are unified. So meeting with Kim Ilson. Kim Ilson is the Lord at the second coming in Satan's world. So North Korea and our unification movement, North Korean people is also thinking and believing and trusting that Kim Ilson is the parents of North Korea. So they call him as the a boy, father. And our South Korea, our true parents is also the parents. So all providence is going on similar way in God's side and Satan's side. But when true parents visit North Korea, totally embrace him as the elder brother. And he is as the younger brother to embrace and fulfill 
and to restore the elder sonship. That's why after 1991, two parents could restore the parental right of parents. Then Providence is going to the next step to proclamation as the two parents and going to the restore the nation and restore the kingships. So those meeting, maybe we see only one moment, one event itself. Maybe we could not see the providential meaning. Why two parents went there, risk of their life and support a lot of things to North Korea. But behind of that, those providential internal spiritual meaning and based on this victorious foundation and going to the next stage. So when we see our providence and each moment, not only just event itself, activity itself, we have to find behind the meaning behind of that. What's plan? What's, what's goal? What's purpose? What's motivation? What's existing behind of those providence, those events? So we should have those attitude always. This is really important things. So I have another word, but today already a little bit late. So I will continue tomorrow. So anyway, today we share about uh, North Korea and South Korea and meeting with Kim Ilson and also the fulfillment of our, uh, these two parents uh, mm -hmm. investment. So how we can find that. And when we see each event, even peace festival, even our some kind of message, there is some important message and important things which we should realize through meeting or through story in the North Korea, loving enemy, embracing and all things. So each single moment, uh, we will connect our heart and pray for the unification between North and South Korea. What kind of role we can do as the Oceania region and also the each nation and each individual, our investment even looks like meeting with person, witnessing, sharing our blessing in our nation is not relating with God's providence or looks like so small things, but each small investment and chanson will be opening the way and to meet some special person and support the God's providence. Now we are sharing our true mother's autobiography. So find and put our chanson and get the message, realization from God, and let's create the new beautiful day. So today also we will begin the day. Thank you for everyone to join Morning from the K. Let's offer the happiness, sharing our love to our neighbors. Let's have a great day. Thank you very much once again. Kamsamira. Thank you very much, Reverend Yutaka. Very, uh, so much clarity uh, you brought. Uh, really. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, I was uh, impressed by those uh, videos of Father you know, standing in front of uh, you know, the North Korean leadership and uh, Kim Il Sung. Uh, I I was uh, sort of caught by the idea of you know this this is Father uh, expressing unconditional love uh, to uh, the North, and and that you know as you said yeah how often do people uh, who have been persecuted by others both sides North and South yeah. Uh, come across unconditional expression of love. And, and I realized when I was watching that, it came to me that Bible quote, you know, be bold and of good courage. Uh, that's when Joshua you know, was asked to cross the Jordan. And, and I realized that that was the uh, external expression of that love. And so Father stood there very confidently. And as you said, he banged the table and <laughs> proclaimed and, 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 and basically you know, ex you know, passionately expressing his heart and you know, 
uh, and and in the culture of Korea where that where that passion, you know, they, they shout, but then at the same time, you know, they were preparing you know, through prayer, and that father and mother were so humble and grateful to God to be there to be that representative. So realize that the expression of love, you know, had that two forms externally bold and good courage and internally you know real humility and gratitude and i was you know you know sort of brought to me that realization yes that's how we're meant to express you know love uh as as parents and unconditionally but to be bold but at the same time we we're humble and gratitude uh towards god and so uh yeah that that seeing father do that i was really impressed uh so yeah okay thank you and uh who would like to share yes uh yes chris go ahead yeah, <clears throat> just a very simple point. I, as I watched that video, I saw Father acting exactly like he does for us. No different. And I thought, he's actually, this is not something he's trying to project. He feels this person, these people are just like church members. I just treat them exactly the same. That was astounding. I couldn't help feeling that. And I... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. When I was in the Solomons, actually, um, Paul had a, a very short book of Father's Interpretation of Divine Principle. And in that book, Father said that the greatest thing that can happen to you is to see people respond to your talking about the principle. And then he said when he was teaching, when he began, he would pray to God, I'll find the person that is responding the most and I'll focus on them. <clears throat> and that's how I'll do it. And they'll, they will become good. And then he said, if you do that, they will not resurrect. And I, I had to go back and read that about four times because I just couldn't, I thought, am I reading this wrong? Because as I was reading it, I was thinking, yes, that's what we do. We find the good people. We focus on them more than the others because they might respond. And then he said, if you do that, they will not resurrect. So the moral of the story is we have to treat everybody exactly the same. And motivation has to be the same. Everyone has the same potential value under God. So that little clip in that video really brought that out to me. Anyway, thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, yes, Doug, go ahead. Um, one of our Korean leaders in America, he was um, difficult for a lot of people to like or to understand, but um, he he really inherited a lot of character from True Father in many ways. He was called bitter medicine, you know? <laughs> uh, oftentimes when he spoke, he spoke the thing that no one wants to hear. Of themselves so uh, if if you um if he thought someone was arrogant you know he would really punch them with his words you know but he didn't do it without the foundation of tears you know many people never saw the tears you know but in 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 fact the, this man prayed and prayed and prayed in tears before he punched anyone you know and uh that that gave those people a chance to really resurrect, you know, and he would speak something that was very harsh for them to hear. And if they could unite with it, they would really change and grow. So he was a really, uh, for that reason, a well-loved person, you know, I just want to say. That. Thank you. Hi, I, I just want to say something. Go ahead, Candice. Yeah. Um, just wondering, like, 
it's almost 30 years since then. Um, does anyone know what happened? <laughs> Why did we have that declaration in 1991? And today it's, uh, you know, we're, it's almost, do you know what I mean? 30 years. Why, why didn't we achieve it quicker? With that declaration right there, why was it not listened to? Just wondering. I think you'll find that the, the, it takes two sides for the declaration to take part. And I think at that time, uh, it was clear that uh, North Korea was actually uh, willing to go ahead with it because uh, they, they signed it. Uh, it was then the follow-up by the South that uh, uh, brought in uh, the uh, other aspects that you know, father didn't really, uh, you know, see. And, and so even though the South uh, uh, is meant to, uh, uh, it seemed like that they were more resistant than the North. So it's not, uh, uh, I think the willingness of the North was very much alive at that time. Uh, and, and I remember the, the push across the border uh, for when, uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, the, that, that process did happen where the, the elderly did meet the elderly at the other side. Uh, and uh, it got blocked by uh, the, both sides, not sure. But, when, but father and Kim Il Sung were confident, but uh, the people around them uh, were not so confident. I think that's an aspect, but obviously we don't really know the full details. Yeah, thank you. Yes, Doug. Pardon my speaking twice, but um, Father Father said that the uh, nation that doesn't do God's will can fall into a period of time of 70 years, you know? So he called it the 70 plus three. Um, in North Korea, uh, the East and West development of communism took place with a 32 year difference. The Russian revolution began in 1917, but the takeover of uh, the collapse of uh, North Korea um, was, uh, the start of North Korea was 1948, you know? So when, if we notice when mother's making references to the fall of communism, uh, she specifically says the fall of Soviet communism or the fall of international communism. And Father said that the fall of communism would take place in stages from an international level to a, a, you know, a, a regional level and then a national level. And all these things would collapse finally until the, the last individual that has communist inclinations would overcome it. You know? So the 30 year difference is at play there. Uh, Korea was established in 1948 China was established in 1949. Starting in around 2018, 2019 uh, is a 70-year period for both those nations, plus three. And you can see now True Mother declaring that unification will take place by 2022, you know. And um, uh, the 70-year period was finished for the Soviet Union, and that's like a role model for the changes that are now taking place in the East. So there's a Western collapse, of Soviet of, of communism, and then there's an Eastern collapse of communism, which is now we're right at the doorstep of it right now, and True Mother's declaring that. So, yeah, thanks, Doug. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yes, Kim, go ahead. Yeah, I just. Uh wanted to um very quick uh what chris said was uh what i was thinking too i, I had to crack a smile when father was uh just talking and i, I just recalled sitting in front of father just the same way and father <laughs> uh speaking to us and uh he didn't change at all in his uh when he went there to speak thanks okay thank you 
Yeah, we've got time for a couple of more people. Yeah. Uh, yes, Steve, go ahead. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm reminded of the fact that as we study the principle that, and hear Father's words, that he says that the external will begin, then the internal will be restored. Uh, and we could see that at around that time, the horizontal began restoration, east and west, horizontal. That was communism, east-west Germany. The Berlin, Berlin Wall came down. And we know through Causa what led to that also. And then the internal, north and south, the more vertical will take place. Father, I don't know, five, six years before the implosion of communism, you know, he, he told us, you know, with the um, meeting of ICUS, that they were to talk about the imminent demise of communism and the intellectuals resisted that and finally did it at his urging. And mother is saying that it's inevitable. We may not see it externally any more than we saw it externally previous to the East-West implosion, but it's going to happen. And I think the, the numerologically, father said 70 years, like Doug said. So we're looking at also China. China looks so formidable. The Soviet Union looks so formidable. We don't know the internal machinations of, of what's happening, the challenges of the Chinese people feeding, being able to be fed by the communist government. I mean, they had these rains, they had these famines, they've had these um, issues in recent years where if they can't feed their own people, they will rebel. So there, there may be great turmoil going on inside these two nations that we're not aware of. Uh, any more than where it was Chernobyl that some say led to the collapse. Maybe Wuhan will lead to the collapse. So uh, it's just interesting to look at history and to apply it today uh, and to know that uh, God is always working behind the scenes. So uh, we can be confident that um, 2022 may very well be that year that things will happen dramatically uh, with uh, possibly both China and North Korea. Thanks. Thanks, Dave. And uh, okay, Randall, last person, go ahead. Um, thanks for that. <clears throat> um, with when uh, uh, Reverend Yutaka was talking about <clears throat> uh, how in South Korea there was the uh, resistance against, you know, father going to North Korea and, you know, there's complaints and questions and saying, oh, what right do you have to go there? Um, after, at uh, father's Sungwa, I was in Korea and um, uh, coming back by a train at one stage and a Buddhist man um, uh, saw me and wanted to practice his English and so started talking with me and then he found out that I was in Korea because of father. And he says, so you... You came here because of Reverend Moon, did you? And basically I said, well, if you have a problem with Reverend Moon, just take the name away and look at what he's done. And he has met basically every president from Eisenhower through to Bush um, in the US. And he's also uh, met, um, you know, all these different people. He's even met Gorbachev and uh, uh, Kim Il-sung. And, you know, if, if this was the only thing he ever did, every Korean should want to read about him. And I then went on to the media that he has in, you know, so many different countries, including the Middle East, and uh, then the universities, even in uh, Brazil. And, you know, all these different things that he's done. And if that was the only thing he ever did, every Korean should want to read about it. And, um, you know, he's just got this, such a vast uh, base that father was working from. And um, I said, yeah, if you like, I can arrange to get a free book. And he says, that's all right. I know where to buy one. And he, he basically went straight off the train into a bookstore. So um, uh, with the South Koreans, if they really look at the different things that father has done, you know, it's um, without the prejudice coming from either churches or government, then yeah. 
that really be inspired by it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Randall. Thank you, everyone. So let's uh, uh, offer our unison prayer. I'll just share the screen. And uh, let's begin.
I do, I do, I do. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. And, Thank and you. Tomorrow is the 1st of July, tomorrow. Thank you, Agadon. Thank you, Rex. Much success. <laughs> Bye.